A given basin has been divided into two sections. What is most nearly the total length or longest path of the basin in feet? Givens. Area 1's time of concentration is 5 minutes. It is short grass with a slope of 0.02 feet per feet. Area 2 time of concentration is 8.5 minutes. It is paved with a slope of 0.01 feet per feet. And area 1 drains to area 2. So we're being asked in this problem to find the total length of the basin. And we know that area 1 drains into area 2. So to find that length, we're going to need to use our time of concentration and the velocity of each area. But why would I know to use the velocity and how would I find the velocity? So you'll notice that this problem provides the slope and basin characteristics of each area. There exists a graph on page 396 that can be used to find velocity using the other information provided. As a quick side note, I realize that having to use this graph is not obvious. If it's actually needed on the exam, there's a chance that it, the, pro the problem itself will call out this graph or provide it to you. But just in case it doesn't, it's good to know that it exists in the reference manual and it's good to know how to use it. So that's the point of this problem. So let's get started. So if we start with this graph, you will see if you look on page 396 of the manual that if we trace over from the slope of 0 0.02 all the way to short grass, this will give us a velocity if we trace down of one foot per second. Likewise, for area two, if we trace over from 0 0.01 feet per foot to the paved section, the paved line, that will give us just about two feet per second. So all we have to do once we've found the area so once we've found the velocity for each area, all we have to do is multiply each area's velocity by its respective time of concentration. So if we have A1, five min times 60 seconds per minute times one foot per second, this will give us 300 feet. Since we're going to have minutes cancel out and seconds cancel out. For area two, we have 8.5 minutes times 60 seconds per minute times two feet per second and this is going to give us 1020 feet since a1 drains into a2 we're going to sum these together and get 1320 feet as our total length closest answer over here is the fourth one and that's all it takes to solve this problem Again, the most important part of this is knowing that you have to use the graph. So this part is the most important. Just take a quick look at it and get familiar so that you know it exists if you come across a similar problem on the exam. And that's it.